Welcome back. Let's go with the acid flow. The virtual file being read is represented by the SEQ file struct M. Initially, the buffer to contain the records is uninitialized but will be allocated with the initial size of page size. Then, the reading of the record commences in a while loop. In line 236, if the record being copied into the buffer hits the limit of the buffer, the buffer is discarded and reallocated with a new size, twice the old size. As mentioned earlier, there is a plausible scenario whereby the code at the line 227 invokes some other function where the size member of the SEQ file struct will be interpreted as a signed int via an implicit cast. We will now explore this scenario in detail. Consider that the set file opened and read is proc self mount info. This virtual file contains information on past and existing mounts. In this scenario, 227 invokes show mount info to format the records in proc self mount info. In line 526, the size of the buffer is obtained. If the buffer is empty, the return value is the full size. Otherwise, it is the size of the non-written portion of the buffer. In line 530, size value is implicitly cast because the corresponding parameter is of type integer, whereas the original variable is of type unsigned int, size underscore t. Assuming the record being observed corresponds to a deleted mount, the 10 byte string double forward slash deleted will be prepended to the record via a mem copy. Still following? Okay. But what is the problem? To realize the negative impact of the implicit cast, we assume size has a value of 2 gigabytes, as shown on the slide in hexadecimal representation. This assumption is practical given that a record length of more than 1 gigabyte will force a reallocation size of 2 gigabytes. Given the example of proc self mount info, such a record can be created by mounting a path with sufficiently nested components such that the path string is sufficiently large, example, at least one gigabyte. Such a path and details of the mount will be entered into the proc self mounts info virtual file as a record. Now we traverse the illustrated path, watching the effect of the implicit cast. Assuming the size again is two gigabytes, we see that it, the, the unsigned integer then becomes a negative value. If the crafted mount has been deleted, the string forward slash double forward slash deleted will need to be prepended. This is where exciting things start to happen. Recall that buff points recall that buff points to the first free allocation free, free location in the allocated buffer. The computed value of P, which was intended to be a pointer to the end of the buffer, will now point to an arbitrary location before the start of the buffer. Consequently, when the prepended function is invoked, the validation is bypassed thanks to integer wraparound. The max negative number minus 10 yields a positive number. Additionally, in line 16, the buffer pointer, which already points to an incorrect location before the start of the actual buffer, is pushed even more backwards. Ultimately, the mem copy operation intended to prepare the string double forward slash deleted to the buffer writes the string to an arbitrary location. What was the fix? Validate size every new allocation and bail out if it will be close to the boundary. Well, we still recommend that whenever you're dealing with 
size values, you should never use signed integers. 